Okay, welcome to my world of charting. Now, you heard this guy on CNBC tell you to buy McDonald's. Let's play the clip. These are called fundamentals. He gave you a fundamental reason. Listen to this. I like the stock because it's, uh, it's going after Starbucks for one thing. And as far as I know, uh, the $4 lattes are going the way of fractions did in the market, and people can't afford them. And if you believe what the, the uh, World Bank said, and I know you disagreed with it a few minutes ago, a lot of people are going to be eating at McDonald's all over the world. Now, that's McDonald's. And, and he's talking about fundamental reasons because everybody's going after the latte and the Starbucks. Who cares? We could care less about hotsy totsy latsy latte. Here's all we care about. We follow, we follow the stock. Now, you don't buy it today. The chart tells you not to buy it today. Why? Because if you take a look at McDonald's, first of all, we put it on our X1. This tells us what the institutions are doing, okay? Now, the institutions are telling us right now that temporarily they're supporting it at 5708 and they're going to sell it at 59.33. So that's temporary, okay? So we know that. That's good. That's good information to have. Now, the next thing we know on, on McDonald's, okay, is we look at this chart. This is called the weekly chart. See how this red line is crossing over? This tells us this stock has a high probability of going into a downtrend for the next two to three months. How do we know that? Well, it's been proven time and time again. See this over here? Anytime this line crosses this line, see right here? See the downtrend? So in other words, let me show you again. That's why charting is so much better. See that? That's a sell signal. See where it crossed over? Let me do it again. See that cross single? See how it crossed the red line over the white? That's a sell signal. Look what happened. It went straight down. See that? It went straight down. So every time that happens, it goes down. So here we go again. We're ready to cross over again, which means just like we had this straight down because of this cross over here, we have a high probability when this crosses, we're going to go straight down again, and we'll get another trend down like this. See? So that's looking out two to three months. So as an investment, you never buy this. See, you should have bought in March right here when it's the – the castles that we are called when that crossed up that's a buy signal see this is a sell signal when it crosses over when it crosses up the red line through the white dot that's a buy signal and look how nicely it went from this point here all the way up to here you see and this chart here tells you to get out right here and if you did see you would have made all that money and got out now this dope comes on and tells you the fundamental reasons why to buy and you know what he's right He's right. He's a dope, but he's right. But it has nothing to do with the stock. You see, what we care about is, are they going to put money in the institutions? I don't care about his opinion. I want to know about the opinion of the institutions. Are they putting money in? Well, they're telling me right now they put money in here, and now they're getting ready to take it out here. All right? It's ready to cross over McDonald's. So that would not be a buy as an investment. As a trade, however, we can do a trade. What's that mean? Well, on this chart, you see where it's crossing over? When it crosses, when that red line crosses over that white dotted line right here, see it's starting to cross over? When that crosses over, that means this stock can go up for the next two days to two weeks, back up to 80%. So that's a buy signal on a shorter time frame. However, this crossover indicates, as I say, we're going to have a downtrend for two to three months. So let's just artificially draw in a downtrend line. Now, it doesn't mean that we can't trade the stock, make a trade, because stocks just don't go straight down for three months. You just don't have a stock go straight down. They always rally. So we'll try to catch a rally. So see it right here? So what we're going to do is here's your downtrend, and when this stock Start turn, see how it's turning up here? And it's turning up here. So what we'll do is we will buy the stock with the idea of a, of a trade. But we don't buy it right away. We go over to the third chart, and we wait for a buy signal there. Oh, good. See, it's starting to buy. Do we buy it right now? No, not yet. We're conservative. We're going to wait till it proves to us that money's going in. We want proof. This is called a pivot point right here. So when this 
gets back up to the top and it's overbought. Remember, when these get up to the top, they're overbought. See, like right here. When they're on the bottom, they're oversold. On the top, they're overbought. On the bottom, oversold. Top, overbought. Same here. Just different time frames. So this is a call the pivot point. So when this goes up, it takes about half a day for it to go up. And then when it comes back down, if the stock doesn't come back to this original point, so it rallies, comes back down, let's say to here. That's called a lower high. Goes back up again, comes back down. That's another, okay, I'm sorry, higher low. See it? This is the low called the pivot point. Rally came back, this is a higher low. Rally came back, this is a higher low. So that proves to me that we got some strength in here. So what we'll do is just trade the stock off this pivot point. Once this rallies back up, see again, once this forms that pivot point right here, it can stay here, and once this little red line runs up to the top, which takes about a half a day, and pulls back down, when that happens, the stock's going to go up and pull back down with it, and as long as the stock, when it pulls back, it's higher here than at this point, then we will execute and buy it but only for a trade, meaning we may get one or two points out of the out of the trade. It's not an investment for sure because, again, it's starting to roll over, which means once that crosses over, that means it's got a high probability it's going to go south for two to three months, just like it did here. But we can trade it, you see. So become a gang member. And as a gang member, you can just do investments, long-term investments if you want, or you can do trades, okay? doesn't matter, but I'll teach you. And if you're a working investor, I'll do it for you. Just join the gang, Phil's gang. See you on the charts.